Hey guys, and welcome to NW Opening number 36. This is the 2022 Women's History Month special. So today we are opening the Elite 88 Trish Stratus. Now there's a couple of women's figures that we could have opened for this, but uh, there's a few reasons why we chose Trish. First of all, I'm no longer convinced about opening my Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. I might end up send it, selling it. Uh, second of all, the Trish Stratus, of course, is from Amazon Warehouse. So the box is already wrecked. So we may as well get her out of there. Now we missed International Women's Day, which was a bit of a shame because I've been meaning to do this video for about a week, but it is still Women's History Month, so let's crack on with this anyway. I might do further NW openings as Women's History Month specials, but you know, we'll just we'll, we'll we'll see about that as we go along. You know, it's taken me long enough to do this one. But anyway, yeah, this is a really cool figure. As I say, I got it off Amazon Warehouse. It was about £13, which I figured I wasn't going to get it any cheaper than that. Uh, the head scan, of course, is notoriously unpopular, but we've already got that sorted, I think. Got Trish Stratus, the Elite 88. We've got a nice picture of her wearing her pink cowboy hat there. Very nice. We've got no details on the back, of course. This is a fairly interesting set. We've got the MVP in there, which we did on a previous NW opening. I think it was just... 34 it was only a couple of videos ago we've got kushida we got riddle which for my money also doesn't have a great head scan we got Rey mysterio which for my money also has a bad head because it's uh just just because it features the uh the, the missing eye and roman reigns which i believe that's a figure with a pretty good head but you know once you've got one roman reigns you've got all of them okay so i'm gonna crack this open and what i'm gonna do nowadays is rather than cutting all the opening out like i tend to do i'm actually going to make a reel of opening this so we're going to cut to that footage now Okay, so we've got her out the box now. And initial impressions are that this figure is really tiny. I know Trish is quite small. I think she's bought about five foot five, but it looks so, so small. Like the legs are so short. I'm sure it's completely correct scale. Just, you know, it just looks really, really short. My main concern really with women's figures is the feet, because obviously we're using these figures to animate with and we need them to have good feet. And to be honest, she isn't standing up too great. But anyway, we're going to get into the figure now. So essentially, we've got the two spare hands, of course. Nice open hands. You know I have a problem when you don't get any open hands, especially when you get extra hands. We've got the pointing hands as well, which are already on her. That's great. And we've got the pink hat. Now, this is really nice. It's a really eye-catching attire. It's actually great attire to sort of capture my attention because... I really like pink. I don't know why. I think pink just looks great. Like the Lana basic I opened ages ago. I like that figure because of the pink boots. It's weird, but I just like pink. It's a great color. It really catches my eye. And we also have the really long cloth jacket. I don't think this is strictly the kind of thing that she would wear, but I also believe that she would probably wear this in more of a kind of diva kind of thing, like fulfill your fantasy or brown panties or something daft like that. That's kind of the good thing about Trish. And kind of one of the things that I thought was worth sort of talking about while we're doing this Women's History Month special is where Trish sort of walked the line between actually being a wrestler and still being a diva. Like, she was one of the few women around at the time that, like, could really wrestle and could really go. And, you know, obviously there's some other great women for her to wrestle with, but it was kind of at a time where the women were only sort of used as sexual objects and... That sure brought the views in, but it's a little bit depressing, and in retrospect, it's just shitty, isn't it? But Trish was kind of able to both wrestle really well, and also be the glamorous diva that kind of held the women's division down, really. And that's why people are so fond of Trish Stratus at the end of the day. Now, let's take this jacket off. So I think, I mean, literally looking at the... The cut picture on the side of the box. She's kind of wearing more of a leather jacket there. In fairness, I would rather have this kind of soft goods than some kind of like difficult, stiff plastic leather thing. But okay, now in retrospect, she seems to be standing up okay on her own, which is good because my main concern with women's figures, as I already said, is the feet. Now, kind of out of the kind of like necessity, the kind of way that the women's figures are just made, the kind of way that they kind of have to be. It can be very awkward to pose to an extent where 
I know that I had issues when I was filming Bailey versus Trish Stratus. I had trouble with them just literally sitting down. Because, I mean, this Mickey James figure is okay. That seems to be fine at sitting down. But, you know, I had trouble with them literally just sitting there and staying balanced in a seated position. So that was, you know, that was terrible. And it is a bit of a pain. And the other issue I have is that the feet are really small. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to compare. They are almost, Mickey's feet are actually bigger. Um, they're definitely wider as well. So that is a concern, but this Trish does seem to be standing okay on her own. I guess only time will tell whether, you know, it's going to animate okay. But yeah, I really did have trouble with filming like Beth versus Bailey and stuff. To an extent where I literally wrought out the women's division and then they started bringing out figures like China and redoing Trish. And, you know, I ended up with that ultimate Ronda Rousey. I've kind of ended up recreating a women's division. I even ended up buying a Velvet Sky. <laughs> My point is, you know, the women's figures were so difficult to pose and animate with that I literally was going to write out the entire women's division and then I've sort of ended up building one anyway. So now let's get into some joints. So first of all, I'm going to have to zoom in on that head. Now, there's a good look at the head there. People don't like this head. She does look a bit like one of those Bratz doll figures. And we do have a solution to this. I picked this up from Fig Pop Shop. A little while back because I knew I'd end up buying this elite. I picked up the battle pack or championship showdown Trish much better head now This is a completely different style. It is a completely different look, but at the end of the day You got to do what you got to do This Trish is actually significantly taller than that. well noticeably taller than that one She does have longer boots on I guess we could pretend that they're those are heels or something, but yeah, that is a bit taller it is a noticeably different look to Trish, but it's not exactly going to be the worst head swap in the world. And at the end of the day, like, that doesn't really matter all that much. I think it's going to look fine, but we'll find out. Anyway, we're going to get into some joints now. So, first of all, the head is quite loose, actually. Um, it's difficult to turn because the hair's there. In fact, actually, when you're looking at it like that, I'm, I'm feeling like I could literally just pull that off. <laughs> like, I don't think I need to boil that at all. Yeah, it was a really, real, real close-up for you guys. Yeah, that's not good. That's not going to pause well. That That is not great. Okay. So the shoulder, that's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a smooth one. That elbow's really stiff. And then the wrist, yeah, not, not too bad at all. The shoulder's okay. The arm could maybe do a boiling back on a little bit. It's a bit loose. The elbow's okay. The wrist is okay. Uh, boob joint. Uh, that does not turn at all. That does not move. I'm not going to twist that far enough to actually move it for fear of snapping the figure I've just unopened. Uh, waist is okay though. This leg is fine. Whether it can pause on that leg is another question. Eh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Let's get a little bit of a... Get the full thing in there. Yeah, that's probably, probably going to be okay. It's probably going to be okay. Carrying on, you know, the knee's fine, the thigh swivel's fine, and the boot is fine. Other leg, yeah, that's all fine. The joints there are great. So I'm not going to do the dramatic thing that I was planning on doing, where I just stop the video, head swap these. Let's get this Trish out of the picture, actually, because she's a little bit distracting. I'm not going to do the dramatic thing of swapping the heads here in the video, but yeah. I don't think we really have much to talk about in terms of uh, accessories. I think this is a really cool look for Trish. But, you know, the pink cowboy hat, I think uh, I'll probably get a lot of fun out of. You know, you could... If you wanted, if you didn't want to use it on Trish anymore, you could give it to, like, Abyss. Yeah, it doesn't even fit on the shop. There's probably some fun I can have with that, I suppose. But, yeah, it's a really cool figure. I'm kind of appreciating how it can stand up on its own. If you can get a cheap Trish to head swap for it, I think that makes it a bit better. It is a different look, this Trish, but it is what it is. I got this off Fig Pop Shop for like £4, so I wasn't going to complain about that. Overall, I don't think this is a bad figure. I don't even think that the head scan kills it for me. I'd have probably bought this even if I didn't think I could swap the head. But I can understand why some people would be put off by it. And ultimately, I, I, I wouldn't have paid full price for this figure regardless, I don't think. But... I'm pretty happy with what I did pay for it, even with the £4 for the Trish Stratus head swap. 
So I think that's more or less everything I wanted to say about the actual figure. So let's talk, as we do, about where Trish Stratus' role in DSW is going to be. Well, as I've kind of hinted towards throughout the video, I don't really know what's happening with the women's division right now. But ultimately, there's not really meant to be any story behind the women's division as it currently goes. And that is kind of the story. There's nothing happening. That's kind of where the whole thing leads up to. So then Trish will probably become important later on. We are looking at a future DSW Women's Champion. I've wanted a figure of Trish forever. I've never actually had one before. I, I never had a Jack specific Trish. Not even the one with the referee shirt or anything. Which I thought was really cool at the time. So it was really nice to finally have Trish Stratus in the room. And you know, I it's always nice to get more uh, Attitude Era people in here. So I hope you have enjoyed our Women's History Month NW opening special. If you want to watch more NW openings, the playlist will be in the end screen. We are on the road to 500 subscribers and it has been a lot quicker than I thought it would be because for some reason I've gained like 27 subs in about four days without doing anything. I'm pretty sure we're all bots, but I mean, if you are a new subscriber and you are one of them, I really do appreciate you guys turning up if you are real people. But either way, we're only about... Well, I think we're at 478 now, so we've got about 22 more to go before we're at 500. So the road to 500 subs might be a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But if I can start remembering to mention it at the start of videos, then we're going to have some fun with that as well. And that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Who knows? We could be at 21 by the time you finish watching this video, if you are so generous enough to do that. So, again, thank you for watching and goodbye. I ended up doing it anyway just to show people in case they're interested. Uh, this is what it looks like with the head swapped. Let's get the zoom in there. Um, Honestly, I think this looks great. Uh, one thing I did worry about was the skin tone. Now, on the video it actually looks kind of bad because there's shadows on her. But as you can see here, it doesn't really match her torso or her chest rather. But it does match her arms. So I think that's probably the best you can expect. I mean, you know, clearly the head that was already on her probably didn't match the torso either. Because it's, you know, it's it's quite a noticeable difference. I don't mind when, like, obviously you've got painted skin having a bit of a difference. But that is quite noticeable. But yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. I do think this head looks great on this figure. Uh, let's pop the hat back on real quick. And there we go. One last thing I meant to mention, actually, um, I meant to mention this that while I was in the video, uh, while I was uh, looking at her before the video, there's this line down her. It's just some kind of factory defect, I think. But yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's barely noticeable. I mean, the hat sits really high on this, uh, this head. Let's see if we can uh, squash it down a bit or something. <laughs> No, that is the one downside. You're kind of stuck with the hat riding a bit high. Uh, there's not really much you can do about that. It's either really high off the top of her head. Kind of looks like a pilgrim's hat. Or it just doesn't sit on properly. I mean, that looks okay, I guess. But that isn't great. That is one downside to doing this head swap. It's really up to you guys whether you think that's a, a, a change worth making or not. All right.